Hi, so I'm, my name is Alida and I'm here with Dr. Eduardo Wilson and uh, I just want to know if you could tell us some advice for students on biodiversity. What would you tell a student starting their career? I would say that we are advancing very rapidly in the molecular and physiological uh, areas of the study of social insects, which I'm especially interested in, but that a whole new chapter is opening, and that is the study of biodiversity. For example, 14,000 species of ants are known. The number could be twice that. In other words, that many new species to be discovered. And every time, as demonstrated by the lectures being given here, people do comparative studies and ask important questions with reference to broad arrays of species, they find something remarkably new. And that is the way biology is going to be pursued in the 21st century, the remainder of it. It's going to be a combination of the studies of biodiversity, exploring the world and mapping the species and their distribution and their ecology therein combined with questions raised by the general principles that are discovered by that biodiversity exploration. And then continuing work down to the level of organisms and on down to molecules and studying the physiology and the mechanisms of behavior and adaptation of the environment of each of these species. And out of that will come even a group humble like the ants innumerable discoveries of benefit to humanity from biotechnology to applications in biomedicine even public health and to the general principles of ecology required by us for managing and placing the planet in a sustainable condition but what do you think about uh, the crisis on biodiversity and the conservation about it? What could we do about it? Because if we want to discover all those species that you mentioned about, they're threatened at some point. Well, of course, we need to do both. <laughs> we need to, to find out what's there at the yeah. same time that we're trying to find out how to save them. Yeah. You can't save them if we don't know what's there, True. what they're doing and where they are exactly. And of course, just finding out what they are and doing all this wonderful basic research, if it's not turned into applied research, including conservation biology measures, as we proceed, uh, then we'll have little consequence for humanity in the long term. Yeah. And uh, one last question, as you have inspired so many people into entomology, diversity, and studies, who were your main influences when you were starting your career? They were uh, people who worked on ants. There were not many of them, <laughs> yep. but I had among them several immediately helpful mentors. One was uh, Marion Smith at the Museum of National Museum of Natural History, and another was a graduate student at Harvard named Bill Brown, who, even though I was you know, a very young undergraduate, became my mentor. And I think that's the way it works, really. You see something that fascinates you, and you want to get into it. There's an awakening somewhere in your childhood to this organism or this phenomenon, you really like to know more and study and maybe make it your life work. But then you need people who are in the area or at least close to it who provide inspiration and by their passion and by their knowledge and encourage you to follow in their path. And that's what I had the great good fortune to experience as a kid. <laughs> great. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.